everyone and welcome. My name is Julie Strauss. I'm the Partner PM Director for the Power Platform Developer and Admin Experiences. I'm here with Justin Graham. He's a partner for low-code products for the Power Platform. Thanks, Julie. It's really great to be here. The opportunity to help you, the pro developer community, realize the opportunities this platform has to offer is really exciting to us. There's so much potential here. Needless to say, we are both thrilled to be here. Let's dig in. Every company is or has to become a software company. That was a conversation that started a few years back. But demand is accelerating, in particular now that we are living in a remote everything world. Whether you're in retail, healthcare, financial services, as some examples, you have to think about how you engage your customers, not only through your core product offerings, but also how you digitalize your services. Many companies have realized that they have had to completely rethink their engagement model. You have to become a software company to be competitive. I hope you got to the opportunity to listen into Charles Lemana's session where he was covering this topic in more depth how Microsoft allows you to use the various building blocks of the Microsoft Cloud to accelerate the software journey. In this session, we'll dig a little deeper, in particular around the Power Platform. But let's tease the problem apart for a bit first to get grounded on why low-code and the Power Platform is such a key ingredient and why we believe Microsoft is so well positioned to allow you to accelerate your progress in this space. Low-code is important, because the so-called app gap challenge is real. And I'm sure every single one of you is feeling that pressure already today. There is an increasing demand for driving digital product creation faster. Over the next five years, more than 500 million apps and services will be created. The demand for mobile applications is greater than ever, growing five times faster than IT departments can deliver. Where this likely hits home for all of you is that 86% of organizations, according to Forbes.com, struggle to hire the right technical talent. That developer shortage is demonstrated here by NCube. Net net is that there's no line of sight to address this challenge. The delta between new job openings and the college graduates is simply too big. So what do you do? You look to alternative approaches. We in Microsoft believe there are two core strategies you can employ to gain headroom. One, you increase the impact and the velocity of apps and components written by professional developers. Two, you create developers from non-developer cohorts within your company. These two approaches come together to form what we are calling fusion teams. A fusion team is where you have multidisciplinary teams of software engineers IT developers, pro developers, and citizen developers come together delivering apps faster. You as the pro developers have the opportunity to take the lead to help your organization scale, turning everyone into a developer with low code. You empower the citizen developers so you all can deliver apps faster. That was the second part of the equation. Turning to the first part of the equation, the key to increase the impact of apps and components written by professional developers is to be found in using the full Microsoft Cloud. Because of how the Microsoft Cloud is put together, we have a common security, identity, and governance platform in Azure. We have the GitHub and the Visual Studio family of products to help you build, and the Power Platform, Dynamics, and Industry Cloud to not only further customize your SaaS apps, but also to seamlessly provide you app automation and industry-specific building blocks that allows you to go faster. Why build an industry solution from scratch if you can pick pre-built components? Why spend months building a UI or automate a business process if you can assemble one in minutes or hours using the Power Platform? Focus your skills where unique IP is required instead. That is what is so unique to the Microsoft Cloud. Assuming the Power Platform is relatively new to many of you, let's do a quick overview here before I hand over to Justin for a demo. If you look at the Power Platform, we are talking about four core products. First, we have Power BI, which is our low-code approach to analyze, explore, and visualize your enterprise data. Think dashboarding and reporting. Then we have Power Apps, which is our low-code approach to building web and mobile applications. 
Power Automate is for delivering automation, whether that is workflow or robotic process automation. Last but not least, we have Power Virtual Agents. This is our low-code approach to building chatbots, again, elevated to an experience where you don't need to have a computer science degree to build solutions. Underpinning all of these services, we have AI, which is infused into the platform experiences. We also have more than 450 built-in data connectors, which is key to our conversation today. So more on these later. Then finally, we have Dataverse. Dataverse represents the physical data storage of the Power Platform, as well as the business logic that makes the platform so approachable. An example of this is the common data space schema that we ship out of the box with Dataverse, which offers predefined schemas for standard business entities or tables. This will not only greatly reduce your effort to define and build your database schema, but also effortlessly drive schema consistency across all business apps across your entire organization. This will eliminate tedious data mapping exercises later. In essence, the Power Platform really lets you accelerate your digital transformation journey, allowing you to save time using pre-built, standard, reusable component. With that, I think it's time for a demo. Justin, what do you think? Absolutely, Julie, and thank you. What you described is really a set of things we want to help customers solve. Let's take a look at how Finastra is thinking of solving this with the Microsoft Cloud. Finastra is working to provide loan disbursement apps to their loan managers. We will see how their professional developers and citizen developers are working together using Power Apps, Azure, and Visual Studio. Let's now look at the Loan Disbursement Apps Independent Publisher Connector developed by Finastra Professional Developers. This is a great example of how the Power Platform empowers Fusion teams consisting of pro and citizen developers to seamlessly and effectively work together. Here you see the Independent Publisher Connector in the Power App Studio, which starts as a custom connector. If I go to the Power Apps Canvas, you can see here how the independent publisher connector is connected to the OK button for the loan deferment option on the app's front end. This independent publisher connector is of course crucial since it sends a message back to an API via Azure API management to update Finastra's on-prem legacy systems with the latest loan batch data. The independent publisher connector is a special Azure API management connector and directly exported from Azure API management. The connector based off a custom created in Visual Studio API requiring ASP.NET Core Web API Project .NET 5 or as a function. With the newest version of Visual Studio, you can import functions into API management. Thanks to the new Open API output support we've introduced for functions developers using .NET. Here you can see the custom API swagger code open, which documents my API and helps with discovery of the interface. After looking through my code, I am ready to publish to Azure without ever having to leave Visual Studio. I can import the APIs using either web API or functions projects into API management at publish time. By switching to the publishing dialog and clicking new, you can see I have many options of where to target my app, such as a Docker compatible container registry like Docker Hub. In this instance, I'm going to publish to Azure, then specifically to Azure App Service. After choosing my specific target, I then choose App Service and API management resources. In this case, my team has already created the resources I need, thanks team, under the Finastra folder, so I'll use those. Now, Visual Studio has identified that my project is an API project, which can be ingested and published to Azure API Management. My team has already created the API to publish against. Now I can deploy directly from Visual Studio to my Azure resources. Or, even better, I can do something which is a setup of CI-CD workflow using GitHub Actions that allows continuous deployment as we work on our API. 
Then Visual Studio creates a workflow for me with all the necessary secrets to deploy to Azure App Service and Azure API management. I can even see the workflow in my GitHub repository here. Once the workflow is complete, I see the API in Azure API management. I can get an overall view of the API and connect it to other services. I can even test the API in the test tab by clicking send at the bottom of the screen. Once complete, you can see the 200 OK in the HTTP response. Further, I can export the API to Power Apps and Power Automate by clicking the three dot menu on my disbursement service API and selecting export and clicking the Power Apps and Power Automate button. Now this API is exposed through an independent publisher connector to the citizen developers at Finastra. This is an amazing collaboration for a fusion team and shows the unique capability of the Power Platform to seamlessly combine the skill sets of all developers. To round out an exceptional end-to-end -end loan processing experience, Finastra is also thinking of using the Loan Manager app in Teams. Now that we have seen how Finastra is using the Microsoft Cloud to help provide great experiences to their users, let's break that down and see how they were able to do this. The Microsoft Cloud provides a great combination of tools for professional developers, such as Visual Studio, GitHub, and Azure. We've talked about how professional developers must increase the impact of their work to be used by more citizen developers easier. Being able to publish an API directly from Visual Studio to Azure through GitHub is a powerful set of tools. Now, the combination of Azure API management and the Power Platform is the glue that allows that increase in impact. Once the API is available in Azure API management, it can be one click published to the Power Platform as a custom connector, then made into an independent publisher connector with little effort. Let's get into that now. Independent publisher connectors is a new feature we are announcing here at Build which allows any developer to collaborate on a connector and make it available to all Power Platform users through our marketplace of connectors, backed by Microsoft. This is another tool allowing an increase in impact given it can be collaborated on by many and used by anyone. Let's take a look at how getting one built works. The first step is to build a custom connector like you would anyway which can come from being a published API through Azure API Management. Once that custom connector is built, then the owner can submit it to the GitHub repo for validation by Microsoft. We will perform some checks to make sure the connector will work within the Power Platform. Once those checks are complete, Microsoft will release it to production for anyone to use. Once the connector is live, you can invite others to collaborate on updates to that connector alongside you through the GitHub repo like you normally would on any project in GitHub. You can find more information at these links on how to get started with independent publisher connectors. Now that those connectors are published, there is another step to be able to be taken to ensure maximum usage and impact by citizen developers. Templates take connectors one step further towards the use case of users by providing workflows tying two or more connectors together. There is a library for over 2,000 templates for people to use in Power Automate to help automate their tasks and increase their focus on the most strategic and important projects which require human creativity. Once templates are created, you can now begin to embed those templates into any app and experience you create through Power Automate widgets and embedding. You can learn more at the links here on how to get started with that. Back to you, Julie. Thank you, Justin. That was fabulous. And with that, we are almost at the end. To summarize, you've now seen how you can build low-code SaaS applications using the Power Platform, but also how you, through one Microsoft Cloud, can leverage not only the pre-built components of the platform, but also the building blocks from the industry cloud to extend your Azure SaaS apps and services. 
So regardless of your current approach to meeting customer demands, you can become a software company. Thank you, Justin. Thank you all. Enjoy build, everybody.